Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back. back to the basement yard. How's it going, Frank? Fucking binging, banging. What does that mean? You know exactly what it you means. You go to the gym this morning? I didn't go to the gym this morning. Got it. I'm sorry. I'm trying to fucking trying to stay consistent. Did go to the gym when we were away though. You yeah, missed, you did. You missed out, babe. It was I, a good time. We had some bro time, Greg and I. I went through a, a run in a very rich, very rich white Atlanta neighborhood. Joey was ready to call his realtor and start moving cash around. I was not ready to do that. I was actually kind of scared because there was no one around. I was like, I could definitely oh, get like, killed. Oh, it was like some weird, like, you know, like fucking like the yeah. watcher, like weird. They're going to finger you and stuff. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I just, I just got weird vibes. I, that's one of those conspiracies I do believe in. Like rich people. Having, I don't even like, know what you're talking about. Rich yet. people doing like weird stuff sex parties where like they show up and they like bleed yeah. on each other and stuff like that yeah i believe that too they like because, get like, together they, they, they drink have wine. so much money they're bored and they're bored so they need to feel something so they like cut each other with razor blades and then like just fucking like yeah. moan they like kill a homeless guy in their living room or that I, I was going straight sex you're going for i'm going murder yeah. sacrificial yeah yeah you know i That's don't know where i'm going you ever see the movie ready or not Forget about Ready. I have seen that. Is it good? It's a good movie. I actually haven't seen it. Uh, what the hell? I saw a clip of it on TikTok, <laughs> which feels like I've seen the movie. Well, I promise you have not. Okay, but was it Ready or Not or Hide and Seek? The one where it's like the you know what I'm talking. Ready about? or Not is what you say before Hide and Seek. So whatever, it's the same thing. Well, it's it's the uh, the one where the girl has to like survive a, like a hide and seek game and like yeah. this like billionaire's mansion and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, like shoot each other with shotguns and shit. Yeah, and it's a good movie, man. You should watch it. It's I want to watch fun. it. Um, no, I was thinking of uh, one of the Purge movies. What they do is like the rich people. They're like, I'm not going outside. So they they hire a company who bring a person and they all kill them together in their living room as like a fun little thing. Rich people, man. Lazy rich people, dude. Lazy rich, you guys suck. Like I, I will don't, say that. Don't say you guys. I'm not one of these people. <laughs> I don't know. It was a good time though. Next time we do one of those where we uh, you know where we're away and we pick a gym and go to it, you should come. Man. I would. I was just on a. I'm like I know. A, I know you were on a run. You could run on a treadmill in a gym and then you know soak it up. In I mean, the I'm not going to pay fifty dollars to run in a gym when I could just run outside. First of all, seventy five. Jeez. First of all, that was second of all. Now we're on. Now two. we're on two of all. Yeah. It was a nice. It was a nice place. They had like bro. Gyms now are like places you don't need to leave. It was like weird. It was like a, it was a lifetime, which I've never been to. But Greg was saying, he was like, this is the main competitor to Equinox. And I was like, Greg, just talk normal. There was one across from his apartment. He, remember he moved into an apartment and there was roaches. So he moved into a different yes. apartment. Yeah, 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 yeah. There was one across the street from him. So I went with him one time. To- I just said I went with him one time and yeah. did this. Who picked did number two. three, my lord. <laughs> uh, but I went with him one time. And we played basketball there, and I was like, what the fuck is this place? There was, like, a bar in it. Bro, it was, there like, was ridiculous. There were, like, offices, like, pods that you could rent to, like, stay there all day. There was a barber shop. Barber shop in the gym? Yeah, a coffee shop, a, like, a full, like, not restaurant, but, like, you can go and order, like, you know, like, cauliflower pizzas and shit like this that. This feels like money laundering now. It, yeah, it, honestly, yes, it fucking does. Yeah, like, this is unnecessary. Like, give me... I kind of, like, there's something appealing about a gym that's just, like, all of the weights are just falling apart. And, like, it's a little dingy. It smells like, like a... It, it smells like a pool, shit. and there's no pool. I like that. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I don't dislike the smell of a pool in I the love, vicinity. love chlorine smell. I don't like being in chlorine. I don't either. Like if I could feel it in my eyes, I don't like it anymore. I don't like it either. But like, I like if that I can, cleans the water. if I walk in and I'm like, oh, there's a pool about. I don't need to see it. But if I smell a pool, like a hotel pool, hotel pools. But those are like crazy pools. What do you mean? Because they're so full of no, fucking indoor. Oh, you ever been like in the hallway and you're like, it smells like a where's pool. the pool and where's you just follow your scent. Yeah, and you're like, Scoo- you feel like Scooby Doo because you just follow your nose and there's that like. <laughs> Scent like thing with like the fingers on it, like yeah, luring yeah. you over. And like, where's this pool? Pies and pools. There's a very welcoming smell about those two things. Yeah, I don't mind uh, the smell of a fucking uh, chlor- chlorined pool. But um, one of our next upcoming shows, when we're out west in California, let's go to Muscle Beach. Do what? Work out. What do you mean, do what? I mean, I don't know that two guys who look like this should go to Muscle Beach. What the hell does that mean? 
I mean, there's guys over there that are actual men. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> this is so random, but it brings up a really funny story. Is at our Atlanta show, there was like it's for, like when you can only really at these shows see maybe the first three or four rows because of like the lights and like my fucking dog shit eyesight. And then after that, it's all blurry. But like at the Atlanta show, there was a guy in like the second row who was like like a 70 year old dad. Nice. And just like, I felt that he had gotten a vasectomy and we were right. We asked him. He and did. He, he confirmed he, he did. He did indeed get one. And he was just, we're like, did you get one, sir? And he was like, <laughs> we're like, damn, dude. It was a moment of uh, camaraderie. You're not in that club. No, thank God. Well, you s- still got my sperm. Out, s- sperm go freeze out. a couple and then snip those bad boys down. Go freeze a couple? Go freeze a couple of, of uh, jerk offs. I'm not going to go jerk off into a cup. Why not? I don't know. You got to pay. You know what? I, I actually looked into that, and you have to pay, like... Uh, I got to pay to freeze my stuff? You got to pay to freeze it, and then you have to pay, like, a monthly storage fee. Like, it's like a fucking... Like, it's like a stop and store. What the fuck? Yeah. Like, it's a storage unit? I'm hiding, yeah, like, that's a exactly. couch in there? Yeah, you have to... Because you have to pay for, like, the hydration. Uh, for refrigeration. Excuse me. Not the hydration. Yeah. You know? But isn't that weird? But don't you get paid to donate jizz? I don't know if maybe you can in certain, but like if you want to like freeze your own gunch, yeah, for like your own gain. If you want to be like a public servant and like give out your sperm willingly, I think you could probably get paid. But like if you want to keep it for yourself and your family, did you see the the Netflix shit that's out right now? It's about a guy who was like, like a fucking donating sperm addict, and he has like he don't like there's tons of women. Um, like a lot of like lesbian couples that like want to have children and they need a donor or whatever. And they pick this guy. Cause I guess he's like a charming guy. He had like YouTube videos of him like traveling and shit. He had long hair. So they're like, Oh, it's cool. He's got a nice, genetics. not bald. Yeah. I gotcha. Yeah. So like, <laughs> not bald. that's a big thing. People look at that. So it's like a lot of people chose this guy. So he has like all of these fucking, children but he was like a kind of little psychopath i'm not that far into it i was just like i have a legitimate question go serious question go let's take a city uh let's take a smaller city not like a new york because there's a million or five million people here or whatever it is let's take a city like uh let's take new haven for example okay that's smaller city is it smaller than new york city sure all right let's go smaller then Let's take a... How many small towns do you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard. Let's take like a... Like a I finally turned off. Yeah, finally, after two hours. Let's take a... Frank, way too much time <laughs> to be spending on this. All right, all right, all right. Let's <laughs> you don't know a small town. All right, Who all right, cares? All right, all right. Think of a number. A town of 5,000. Go. Okay. No, more than that. 10,000. More. Pick the number. <laughs> this gets so annoying. You're driving me crazy now. All right, let's say under a million people. So like whatever city you can think of that's under a million people. All right, let's say 500,000. Who cares? <laughs> Get to the point. Fuck the population. Oh my God. What happens if a guy shacks up in a city like that and he just starts fucking cranking out sperm donation? And then, like, it's used. So, like, what if he has, like, a hundred kids out there, and they meet, and they do frick, and then they do have kid? <laughs> Does anyone stop the thought of that? You never, you never, there's, there's another separate documentary from that of a guy who worked, like, um, I, I think he was, like, an IVF doctor. I don't know if that's an actual position. Oh, and he would just come and everything. Yeah. So, yeah. It, it wouldn't be, like, this, he would be the one who's, like, supplying it. So, and he's obviously mad illegal and fucking the guy should burn in hell, rot in hell, burn and rot in hell. Uh, What's worse, burning or rotting in hell? Well, you have to, if you're going to burn, you're probably rotting as well. Yeah, but that's speeding up the process in which you're rotting. Regardless, the guy sucks. But he was jizzing in all these cups and then IVF and whatever, and then people were having kids. And But he had his office in one town, obviously. So the surrounding towns where all <gasps> these women would eventually come, like a lot of those people are related. So there have been a lot of like... Bro, imagine Accidental. you're like yeah. on like a date with someone and then you like like them and fall in love with them and then you find out you're from the fucking same jerker offer. Yeah, you're 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 my brother, like dude. 
Why would you go Brava? I don't know. Are they from London, all of them? They are. They it's are. like Midwest shit, I think. <laughs> Definitely is not. But Midwest is just like... No, I know. I just said that. But... Pappy and like, you know, like Mammy, Pappy. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so he did that. So there's probably a lot of like accidental. That's inter- crazy. What you, why would you do that? What's wrong with you're people? You're a sick fucking freak. That's why. But like, why would you do He should that? fucking separately... On two separate occasions, burn and rot in hell. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, he has a chance to burn in hell, put him out, and then rot. How about burn him from the waist down and let the top half rot? That's not a bad idea. You could put, like, a like a, like a a fire blanket around his waist so underneath it just starts burning, and on top it just naturally decaying. Yeah, I feel like now we're going into too much detail. YouTube's not going to love that. Yeah, well, it, oh, yeah, this is a weekly episode. We should it probably is. chill out a little it is, bit. It is, it is, it is. But, um, yeah, that would be fucking insane. If, like... <laughs> If, like, next week, Becca and I were to find out that we were both from, like... A, a, the what would you do? So, this is a legitimate thing because this happened, uh, almost happened, I should say. But we, when we did OPL, there was a, a, a couple, this, like, uh, I believe it was a... Yeah, it was a lesbian couple. And they found out that their mom had something with, like... And like they, there's a chance they might be related. Too close. So yeah. Too so like, close. There was there was something like that. Like oh, your dad dated my mom back in the day. So and those dates add up. So there's a chance something like that. And like their TikTok became this story of like following along and going to get results and finding out. And I'm like, if you find out, because now they're already in love with each other. Like what the fuck do you do? Sorry. I mean, you already have children. It's a wrap. Well, yeah. Thankfully, we've. I, I'm pretty sure we're not related at this point in time. Yeah. <laughs> Well, under God, we're all brothers and sisters. Oh, that is right. Under so the Lord are, of Him, we are all... Technically, we are incest, uh, that's incest. Right. That's right. Under the Lord, we are incestuous. One big And born family. with original sin. Right. Uh, and we're all American brothers and sisters, too, so that's two layers That's right. And we're all brothers in arms. Brothers right. and sisters in arms. Right. So that's, yeah. Um, from sea to shining sea. Right. Don't add another one. Okay. I know you're looking for another one in there. I know. I... Sorry, I, I we have to split, and then I will. I would. I you can't. You wouldn't. Of course you wouldn't, bro. If Becca and I tomorrow were to find were to find out we were related, I would never be able to like look past that. You have children. Yeah. So I feel like that's like the biggest thing. See you, kids. No. Yeah. <laughs> but you have children already, and they're good and healthy. Nice. It's still weird, dude. It's weird. Still weird. I can't let. I wouldn't be able to let you find out because a platform like this. Forget <laughs> about it, dude. Oh, like I would leak some information like that. If you, it depends how hard you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, your wife is your sister. <laughs> <laughs> no, I. I wouldn't be able to look past that. That's something that is just. That's that's. That's yeah. That's that's crazy. That's it would hurt. I would need intense therapy. Yeah. For a very, very long time. What if you found out you were like fourth generation cousins? Does that count? Anything third and closer is bad. I don't even know what a third cousin is. So like my, my dad's cousin is my third cousin. Who's your second cousin? Wait a sec. My- <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's like, it's weird because like it goes like me to my dad, my dad to his aunt, and then his aunt. To his cousin. Yeah, like, so that third is far. It's weird. Too close. And he just like, if there's a small inkling that like you might be related, just like, like, like if I ever, if I had, before I met Becca, if I had like found, so, I would never have been able to like date someone with the last, same last name because it's just like too close. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. It's just like, whoa. And yes, Alvarez is a very common last name it in is. the, you know, Latin Inx community, but I just, I couldn't do it. Mm. I, it would be too much. Interesting, interesting. You know what I mean? Interesting. That would be terrifying because it's like somewhere. Yeah, that's terrifying. You know, although names back then, they were just like, they mean, they meant something. Now it's just like, they use, you know, like Smith. Remember like the story was because like Smith is because that was their job. Like a blacksmith. You know, and then whatever. like Mar- Martinez or Alvarez in Spanish, the EZ meant son of. So Alvarez meant you were son of Al- Alvaro. Martinez meant you that. were son of... Uh, uh, Martin. Yeah. Sanchez, son of Sancho. You know what I mean? So, like, they were just given it. Like, the person's first name could be like, oh, I am Sancho, Sancho, whatever. They used to be like, all right, your kids are Sanchez. Interesting. Just, you know. 
Yeah, I mean, you know, that's a tough go. Have Definitely. you ever looked up like the like old English like like history of your name? I don't care. Oh, really? But what would it mean? I mean, you know what? I was just talking. I I just did Danny's podcast because he was he brought it up because he thought it was insane that I thought this, but he was like, "Don't you want to go to Italy and know where your family's from and go to that town and like you know?" I was like, "I don't really care." But then he brought up. He's like, "When I went, I went to the place where my family was," and he's like, "And you can see like oh, low priori dentistry." And it's like, wow, that's interesting. Because if I went to if Italy... If your fucking fam- distant relative is a dentist, whoa, no, dude. Not that if they're a dentist, just like <laughs> going and so you're in some small random ass town in Italy and it'd be like, oh, the Sanagatos are here. And then you spit that's at them and you say, look at what my life has become, you fucking peasant losers. I wouldn't do that. That's what you would do. Uh, but I would go in I would be like... <laughs> I'd probably start speaking Spanish. Yo soy cousin. What the fuck? <laughs> There's no, like, I yeah. think Becca's family is from a town in Italy called Cassano, which that's cooler, but like, like, you know, whatever. Like, I know like my dad often says he wants to bring us to like the part of Colombia that we're from. So, cause there's like a lot of family and stuff over there, but like you throw a rock and hit an Alvarez in Colombia. It's, yeah. like, <laughs> it's not that yeah. crazy. So I, I don't know. I'm not, you know me, I'm not a big like world traveler. You know, so like I tend to be okay with like this little corner of the world I've carved out for myself. I think it would be cool to see just to be like, wow. Like imagine I went and like it was like a pizzeria and I walk in and the guy looks just like me. I'd be like. That would be, that would be cool. Yeah. I'd be like, oh my God, I'm making pizza. It would be like, what's that called with the multiverse? Parent trap. Wrong. (laughs) It would be like the multiverse. Like. Like, 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 oh, this is me in a different lifetime making pizzas in Italy. Like multiverse of madness or like, yeah, like that Spider-Man no way home. Kind of like that. Or like stop naming movies. <laughs> it's like that. Exactly. What you think it is everything anywhere all at once. It's stop naming things. You have it. You're on it. Everything everywhere all at once is what it was. Yeah. Did you ever end up seeing that? I did. I remember the scene with the big dildo hands. Yeah. That was well, it wasn't dildo hands. It was finger. It was hot dog fingers. And then they were fighting with dildos. <sighs> See, that's what happens. My memory kind of. It all, there's so many dildos. It's so, so much going on in your head. Hot dogs, dildos. Technically. Hot, hot dogs. What percentage of women do you think have used a hot dog as a dildo? Go. What's your first, first number that comes to mind? Boom, 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 boom. Three. Three, three, per, three, three percent. percent? That's probably mm. high. That's probably way high. You think high. cucumbers higher or lower? Higher. I also think it's higher. High, it's just got more structural what, integrity. It does. What about hairbrush? Could, this is could be eighty. This is disgusting. Could be eighty two percent. I don't. It could be eighty two percent. I think uh, we didn't we talk about that once that like it was like a uh, like sixty percent or something like that. Oh, is it? Have like sexually experimented with a hairbrush Dude, or when something? When you're young, like us, like when you're a boy. Uh uh-uh. uh no, no I wasn't. I'm not shoving a hairbrush in my ass. Not what I was gonna say. I'm saying you figure out ways to like you're figuring out how to use your body or whatever, and you're like, I'm gonna do weird stuff. What were you doing besides fingering your Winnie the uh, Tigger? Yeah, uh, stuffed animal. Uh, I don't know. I think I was just like pressing on it a lot or whatever the fuck. Like I, I don't know. You probably do like weird ass shit, dude. Relax. You were jerking off with fucking hair gel, so we we know that. There's uh, how much hair gel can you feed inside your pee hole? Don't answer that. It's rhetorical. Moving on. <laughs> um, <laughs> Speaking of pee, crazy. Did you see the the video or the picture of the guy getting arrested for pissing in the middle of a plane? I did see that. Dude, this guy in... And he, the craziest part... What airline, though? I don't remember the airline. Ah. If you were to guess. Spirit. Duh. It's probably not even frowned upon on a spirit flight. Yeah, that's probably like how they wash their hands. They're just like someone <laughs> peeing consistently and they're just like... No, oh, I'm joking. Relax, everyone. Uh, but like was sitting first class and like just decided to just piss in the middle of a plane. Which way was he facing? Was he facing the plane or the like? Was he facing the? If this is the aisle, like goes to the back of the plane, he was standing like. Oh, this. he was in the front, so he wasn't pissing towards the pilot. No, 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 no. He was pissing toward the pilot. Does that make it better? Yeah, less people can see. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. The whole plane was getting a view of his fucking mid piss dong. Dude, obviously arrest that guy, throw him in jail, bury him under the jail. Uh, illegal, super I mean- illegal. <laughs> Don't bury him under the jail. Put him in it though. Uh. But I've been on a plane where I'm like, 
this may happen. I may have to piss in this aisle right here. When we flew to Puerto Rico, I had within a two hour span, seven mimosas. <laughs> there was a chance I had accidentally pissed my pants in the seat. So yeah. like that could have happened. Yeah. Uh, you also did piss, piss yourself right before the show in Nashville. That I was did, good. Did <laughs> Frankie had a nice whoa, whoa, half, whoa. half dollar size piss. It was a little bit of pee, but it happens, Joe. Right. It happens. Don't fucking piss shame me. It happened. You love, you love, well, it happens. <laughs> you love piss shaming? You love piss say? shaming people. Who, who, who am I shaming piss? Me, Pissily. Greg, other people. Oh, no, you guys are pissing when there's- We're piss bros. Yeah, there's there's bathrooms around and you guys are pissing into bottles. That's when I have an issue. Listen, man. And then they sit on your desk. Freaks. <laughs> I'm getting you to piss in a bottle. We almost had it on that road trip that we did from from Atlanta to, to Nashville. We almost had to let Greg piss in a in a bottle. Would it have hurt you if it was done in your vicinity? No, hurt me? No, I would have just been like, whatever. I mean, if you're gonna do it, do it on like a road trip. You make a fucking like a whole routine out of it that you like. I'm gonna save it for the car. I don't save it for the car. Are you one of those people that feels weird about pissing in the in the shower? No. Yeah, yeah, let it rip. I let it fly. There's baby. some people who are like, oh, I don't do that. That's disgusting. I let it fly. I like, do, what? like, I pee no hands in the shower. Like, woohoo. Yeah, I continue showering and it's like I'm peeing. You're I'm peeing like, like, you're like you're like you're a dog. You're just doing your yeah. thing and you're you know, pissing. It makes me feel mad efficient. Like, I can do two, like, I'm an octopus. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like doing my hair, I'm peeing, like, I'm doing all types of shit. Yeah, exactly. And pissing his pants at the same time. Yeah, exact like, I'm time. washing my hands, I'm getting the soap, I'm getting the shit. I do out love of my efficiency. Hair. That's why, while I'm always, while, not always, most of the time when I'm peeing, I flush mid piss just to get it done. You know, and then I have a little race between me and the toilet. I've done that before. You know? I've lost more than I've won, though. Oh, yeah, 100%. <laughs> do you double flush or you just leave it? I just leave it. <laughs> It's mostly parts per million. It's mostly water than it is piss. So, like, we're good. Yeah, well, no one's going to like, make this, a soup out of it. Has all this... In, is piss different at 30,000 feet? Why would it be different? It's coming out of you, not the plane. I wonder, because they say this. I've seen, you know, I, I watch a lot of tea content. And they say don't bring, like, a pressurized water bottle on a plane... Because the moment the pressure builds up in there, so when you open it, it fucking bursts. Mm -hmm. Does that happen in your bladder? Because we're mostly water. I don't think it's because of the water. You just said pressurized. Yeah, well, because of the water that's in there. No, so it's like our of the air that's shoved in. So if I start going, take, take up, take up, will I become pressurized and will my piss be harder? No. You're not a pressurized thing. You're not a fucking can of shaving cream. Of course you're pressurized. There's blood pressure. Yeah, pressure isn't like compressed air. But that helps build pressure. The answer is no. I don't know how else to convince you that. But it you don't even happened. know. You don't even really know. You know how I know? I've gone to the bathroom on planes and it's just been normal. And I've never shot how do you out know? piss. How do you know? Like a kinked hose. You, you're going to tell me you haven't pissed so hard on planes? Of course I've pissed hard on planes. I have to hold it while we're climbing. Or is it because you're climbing and then you feel the pressure building and it's like you have a piss explosion? No, I have to piss on the tarmac when we're at sea level. And it's screaming at me. Getting up in the air, I just can't wait anymore. I have to piss. You got to do big old piss? Yeah, dude. I told this story on at one of our shows, but I recently jumped out of my seat, and I was basically climbing a hill to go fucking piss. <laughs> I pissed everywhere in that fucking bathroom, and I felt bad. Good, a, a bathroom, a plain bathroom piss is a good piss. Bro, the last plane that we were on, thank God it was a pee, because I went in there to pee, and I hit the flush, wasn't working. I was like, if I took a dump here and I couldn't flush it, I'd just stay. You'd just piss on it until I it became... I would kicked the fucking flush button, but it wouldn't flush. And eventually I gave up. And you just walked out? I left piss in there. <gasps> like it was a football game. You're bad. What's it called? What's that called? Porta potty. You're bad. I will say... <laughs> I will say... <laughs> That's actually... <gasps> you're bad. Piss bad. <laughs> I will say this person obviously was and should have been arrested. And tried for indecent exposure. Tried. However, have you ever had to pee that bad that you're just like, I'm just going to go right here? All the time. Wait, wait, what? On the plane. No. Obviously not. I've never pissed on the floor of a plane. 
What's crazy is he just then sat down and he was just like, I'm going to just do That's the normal. Flight, you know? Was he like senile or he was just like a fucking asshole? Oh, he was like 25, 26. Oh. He was young. Oh, was he like drunk, hammered? I don't know. Maybe. Regardless. Yeah. Like you have the wherewithal to not pee. How drunk can you get on a plane? Or you could get drunk on an airport. Bro, why is it just like you can drink? Like airports are like the one of the three places you can just drink whenever and no one says anything. I've been, I've seen some crazy shit in airports where like my flight got delayed. So I'm sitting at the bar just like whatever. It's it's like 8.30 in the morning and I'm just sitting at the bar and I like, I'm having breakfast and this girl comes up next to me. She orders two shots of tequila, rips them and walks away. At 8.30 in the morning. And I was like, what the fuck? And then A lot of people time, have anxiety about flying. Ripping two shots of tequila in the morning at 8.30 a.m. That feels like people it's going to add anxiety. to it. But another time, it was like even earlier, my flight was taking off like early. And I was sitting at the bar and I was having a coffee. And a woman had her daughter with her. And she, I think she ordered just like like whiskey neat or something. And I was like, what the fuck? Now? Whiskey neat? People need their fix, man. Yeah. I People mean, need their fix. No, but the flight and flying anxiety is a real thing. So flying anxiety. Flying anxiety. Yeah. Flying anxiety. Does it help you to drink a little bit? Have a little bit of toot? Not really. I don't need, I don't need to, like I have had drinks before flights. Yeah. But like when we, like these flights that we've been on, I haven't drank anything on them. You yeah. know, I was thinking about when flying to Atlanta, having a drink because we had just <clears throat> sold out another radio city show yeah and but then i said to myself like i'm gonna wait to celebrate with the boys when i see them i immediately went and got a a uh, mimosa you celebrated by yourself i was with ahmed you celebrated with not me now we're getting yep <laughs> that's true <laughs> by definition yep but uh we're gonna forget about all that because we do have some ads uh the first one being hello how you doing fitbod fitbod's gonna get you in shape okay the summer's still here it is still hot as hell. You want to pop that top? You want to get into a nice little shippy shape? You can do so, okay? Uh, FitBot is great because they create um, programs for you and your goals, okay? You can't just go online and pick any old plan and think that's, you know, you're going to figure it out. Or if you don't really have a lot of experience just going to the gym and, like, you know, just doing whatever you think works is not always the best way to do it. If you're going to take the time to go to the gym, you should probably get the most you know, you want to put in the least amount of work for the most results and you have to do it in an optimal way. These people are going to help you do that. Okay. Um, so if you have goals, like, you know, you want to lose weight or you want to lean out or you want to put on mass or whatever the, the case is, whatever your goals are, they will make a program for you. Also, whatever sort of experience you have, they will create a program for you as well. Um, if you don't have access to a gym, um, you can do this all at home as well. Uh, even if you don't have any workout equipment, there's body weight stuff. Also educational, they have over a thousand demonstration videos, so uh, you can learn new movements. Um, a thousand movements. I mean, I don't, I don't even know that many. So you could like learn a bunch from this as well. Um, so yeah, so it adapts to your growth. To so each workout is challenging enough to push you to make progress. So it's a very helpful way to do it. And it's also, uh, you know, not as much as a personal trainer, which could be, you know, an arm and a leg if you're going to do that. So. Uh, you're going to save some money too. We'll give you 25% off of your subscription or you could try that for free at fitbod.me slash basement, okay? That is fitbod.me slash basement spelled F-I-T-B-O-D dot M-E slash basement, all right? So go and get it, folks. Enjoy that. Uh, we also have stamps.com, which is going to bring uh, all the amazing services of the post office right to your fingertips in your home. All you need is a printer um, and yeah, so... Uh, with stamps.com, you can buy and print official U.S. postage so that you can send things out or do whatever you need right in the comfort of your own home. Uh, so you can save time. You don't always have to go to the post office, wait in a line, drive there, find parking, all that stuff. So you're saving time. But not only that, but you're going to be saving money because you can get rates that you can't find anywhere, like up to 89% off uh, USPS and UPS rates. So 89%. 
wild. Okay, so you're saving time, you're saving money, you still get everything that you need from the post office. Boom. Uh, so yeah, you can sign up with the promo code Basement for a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a free digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the page, and enter the code Basement. Uh, that is stamps.com, uh, and click on the microphone at the top of the page and enter the code basement so if you got like a small business or you just send out a lot of packages and stuff this is what you want to do stamps.com slash basement all right folks folks raise your hand throw it back patreon.com slash the basement yard it's always a party with the basement boys and that party never stops when you got patreon thank you guys so much for getting us to over 32 uh -uh, 32 uh -uh, 32 thousand patrons that's absolutely incredible we are consistently floored by the love and support uh more so me because i'm a real human that uh you know has a heart and joe is uh what people don't realize a robot that has been fabricated by you know the lizard people so thank you guys so much what you could do is uh, go over to patreon.com slash the basement yard sign up today for that first tier and you get these weekly episodes one week in advance and that second tier not only do you get that stuff but then you get exclusive episodes every single friday and then you can check out the other tiers for more stuff if you want to so thank you guys so much and then while you're at it after you go over to patreon.com slash basement yard and show that love support then you give us hugs and kisses and all that fun cute stuff you can go over to the basementyard.com Check out our website. It's fun. It's cool. If you're coming to any of the Basement Yard Experience shows, which we are fucking, we are a well-oiled machine, baby. We are rocking and rolling. If you're coming to any of those shows, a portion of those shows, we enjoy that they're going to be, uh, you know, uh, interactive. We like to talk with you. You guys tell us some stories, some prompts, and stuff like that. So uh, go over to thebasementyard.com slash submit. You can fill out those questionnaires. You tell us which show you're coming to. Fill out the questionnaire, and you never know. We might talk to you, with you, about you. You never, ever, ever know. At our Atlanta show and our Nashville show, we talked to some pretty crazy people uh, that had some pretty crazy things to tell us, and it, it was incredible. We were laughing, uh, not only in the apparently Toronto can, Canadian way of saying laughing, but also laughing in terms of hee hees and ha ha's. So go one more time to thebasementyard.com slash submit, put in what show you're coming to, submit a questionnaire, and then maybe we'll talk about you, baby. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. We really appreciate it. Uh, and back to the Hurton. Hurting for hurting while you're squirting, Joe over there. It's hot in here, baby. It's toasty, man. We got to do something about this. Can't have this anymore. We could. What we could do is, you know, they make now they make those. They're like little fans that clip on your belt and they blow in your shirt. I don't think a fan's gonna help me. I uh, think a fan will help you. What's the wettest part under your body right now? My head. Oh, my head just sweats. But the rest of my body doesn't really sweat. Really? Yeah. Dude, it's like splish splash in my fucking balls right now. <laughs> I'm talking like you can walk outside and see donkey. You know, it's like Sh Shrek Swamp. I didn't know where you were going with that. Absolutely. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? You could do it. You could see donkey. Whatever. Um, can we talk about... <coughs> There's a sneeze. I'm sorry. <laughs> Is there a reason why you sneeze like a Pokemon? <laughs> it did sound like Togepi. It did. What other Pokemon can you do? That's I'm not going down this road. You don't remember Jigglypuff, dude? I remember Jigglypuff. It was really especially good. Especially now. But like, what the fuck was that? That was really good, right? How did you have that loaded up and in there? Listen, baby, I'm ready to go all the time. What are you even doing with your mouth and throat to even... I like curl the back of my tongue and like have it press on my vocal cord. So I'm like, Pop. I could also do stitch. Uh, I don't want to hear it. Go ahead, do it. Actually, yeah, I want to hear it. <laughs> go, 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 go. I'm just a stitch. Hi. Yeah, I told you, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Kind of cool. Disney, I know you're making one. Call me up, bitch. I, oh, I'm sorry. Not the bitch. I want to hate it, but it's you good. You can't, dude. You it's can't good. hate it. I could also do Arbok. <laughs> The evolved, do it, do it, the evolved do it. form of Ekans, do it, the do Pokemon. It. Do Arbok. Arbok. <laughs> <laughs> Weezing. You remember Weezing, right? Coughing. Yeah, coughing. Uh, Dude, I can do Pokemon, brother. 100%. Name good me, for you. Name me some other Pokemon now that I think about it. Mr. Mime. That one I can't do. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But I think it was like mine. I don't, yeah, I don't remember, but Damn. anyway, can we talk about this masculinity retreat? 
Yes. That's also a very hard word for me to say. The masculinity retreat. Why have you been there? Retreat. You fucking bastard. Yeah, talk about it. What happens? Well, apparently there is a new retreat in Italy, mm-hmm. which you want to go. My Italian brothers. Yeah, your Italian brothers, where you could pay 10000 US dollars to go to a masculinity retreat. We previously spoke about these. What do you do there, you fuck women? That was supposed to be funnier. <laughs> What is a masculinity retreat? No, it's like those retreats. It's like you want to find your inner out. It's like the alpha male one. Oh, no. Yeah. But well, Italian version? But apparently this one. There's probably a ton of espresso there. Oh, my God. Espresso. Crazy. Grappa. Yeah. What's that? It's like distilled wine. Oh, okay. Uh, but it's pro- it. So this one is you can be in a giant hot tub and be held by your boys and cry. You could do that for way cheaper, dude. Fifteen dollar <laughs> bottle of Josh and a hot tub. I'll be crying in there or horny. It's always the extremes in a hot tub. It is. Why? Why? Ex- why does bo- not basically not boiling, but like hot water just like bring out like the emotions. It's in the people. extreme temperature. You're like extremely horny or extremely sad. Jesus Christ! And it's extremely hot in there. Wh- horny? No, like hot in the water. No, but you said horny. People you said think, fucking hot tubs. People do have sex in people hot tubs. People who have a fucking death wish, by the way. You can get a, a fucking, what's it a called? A yeast infection. That's pretty, what I'm saying. Yeah, hot tubs are just not, I've learned, they're just not good things. Dude, ladies, learn your lesson, okay? You hit one of fucking that hot tub, you'll be making bread a few days later. <laughs> Say something, get me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, you don't need to pay $10,000 to be cuddled by your bro and cry. <laughs> yeah I mean definitely yeah I mean also I don't know how that's helping masculinity like what does that mean I don't know because that's what I guess the Italians version of masculinity is different than the American version because if that were an American spa they wouldn't call that masculinity my, my friends let me tell you yeah they wouldn't call it something else and I'm not gonna say it because it's mean gay yeah yeah that's what they'd call they, it losers down here they would they would shame that I do think that... Um, I think that if you are paying $10,000 to cry in a hot tub with your friends, you're... Come on. I mean, yeah. It's yeah, nice. What? A good cry sesh with your boys, though? Bro, just go to therps. What's therps? Why, therapy. Oh. Why do you got to fucking No, pay no, 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 no. That's crying for work. That's someone that wants you to cry. Therapists want you to cry. I'm talking about... No, like, they don't. The boys just chilling. Frank's never done therapy. Boys just chilling, and it's like, who wants to cry first? You don't cry like that. You have to talk. The boys, though, like yeah. the, crying with the boys is sick. The cuddling part <laughs> is weird. But like the pictures are of like the person like crying and like being held. You know what I like? I like being held in water like that. That's what it is, dude. Oh, see, that's that's cool. I gotta find. Now I don't I know about crying. I don't like crying on my back. I like to cry standing up. You you why? You'll choke. No, I, well, kind of, yeah. You don't like crying? Like, I don't like crying while laying down. Like, uh, Can I ask I like you a serious stand. question? Can I ask you a really serious question? And or be just... fucking honest with me. Good. Do you like the taste of tears? Um, It's okay. They're salty. You would like them because it's kind of like a like a martini. You know what I mean? Martini? Like it's like salty as hell. I Frank can't... drank one of the most disgusting looking martinis recently. It was like oh, it was a literally good garbage It water. was a good one. What am I looking at? Oh. Oh, this is actually. Oh wow, they're crying. They're crying, brother. See, they're in. They're in water. Oh, that's a good cry. Oh wow. Oh. Then he's holding them with his head behind his, his hand behind his head. Oh, that's a weird one. Listen, bros, you don't need to pay ten thousand right, dollars to cry. A- Just cry. It's free. You could free cry for sure. For, well, no, therapy costs money here in the United States because you know. No, I'm health- saying you could just cry. That's free. But like crying with the bros, dude. That's what I'm saying. Still free. No, because you said Josh. You got to get a bottle of Josh. You don't have to pay $10,000 is my point. Yeah, I wonder what they do to make him cry. You ever seen, like, there was a documentary on Netflix, and it was about, like, those, like, ayahuasca retreats and, like, the people that, like, cry for, like, six hours nonstop. Or, like, start throwing up. And, like, like, Well, that's because of the effects that the, it has. That's what I mean. But, like, the people that cry, six hours is too long to cry. I can't a good I'd cry? I'd be exhausted. Max, max 30 minutes. I've done, I've done, I've gone long with crying. How long cry? Oh, hours. At hours. You, like, you said it. What do you mean not hours? <laughs> like, uh, you said hours. 
I, I think like in this, if you take three hours, definitely over an hour of that time cried. So say an hour, Joey. But I'm saying a consistent out. cry. I'm saying these people cry consistently for six hours. Oh, I don't think a human is capable of that. I think you cry and then you kind of collect yourself and then you cry again. I just, it's funny that like people, like we've found, we, we have found ways to just make money off of people just crying. That's what I'm saying. Like I feel bad. A part of me feels bad for those guys, but it's also like you're paying $10,000 for this thing. Like it's a scam. Bro. I thought I came up with that. I wish I came up with that. Yeah. Like, yo, come here, have your boy hold you, and then cry. But, like, why? If you're going to, like, be open to, like, if you're open enough to be emotional around other men, why do you need to pay $10,000 to be able to do that? You know what I mean? I'm sure there's some, like, like, they make, they give them a list of questions to ask and stuff sure. like that. You know, like, they make it seem like it's a service. I'm sure, the, and the big pool. The big pool is probably the that's most. That's probably worth a it. lot of. That's probably a lot of maintenance. And I stuff love like pools, that. dude. If it's a big, wet, hot pool. If it's an infinity pool, I'll fucking pay money. It didn't look. It looked like it was one of those pools though. That the bottom is black though. So like, like when it they looks film Titanic. And, like, yeah, pool yeah, like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. So it looks like everything is just just the depth. I don't like that. Bro, you ever see videos of those pools that are like seventy five feet? deep? Hell no, brother. Those are cool. Hell no. They Why? do what those. Are you afraid of. Drowning, Joey. What do you mean? What am I afraid you of? You can swim. Yeah, but those when you look down and you see what's down there, a part of your brain is just like, I could drown here. You could drown in anything. I could drown right here, though. No, I don't. I don't do. I, I like. I do. Like you're gonna say you don't go on like a tall building and look over and you're just like, I could jump, man. I do that all the time. There you go. But I don't. Like, what I'm if not, I just drown? But you can't just drown. You have to like. It takes time. It takes like two minutes to drown. I don't think it takes very long. I don't know how long it takes to drown, but. Like if you can like like I would see videos of the guys like going down, but I feel like my ears would pop. <gasps> I, I have like really it. bitch ass ears. Yeah, your ears suck. Yeah. Take it easy. You uh, said it. I'm just agreeing with you. I know, but you don't get to say it harder than I said it. That's like, support though. That's not support. That is support. That isn't support. My ears suck. Yeah, dude, they do. No, see, that's support. You saying, yeah, they fucking suck. That's different. Okay, say it again. That's not my ears are bit what'd I say? I have bitch ass ears. Yeah, dude, you do. Doesn't feel good either. <laughs> you do. Thanks. Work on your ears. This is me trying to be the. How do alpha I open man. up my sinuses or whatever my my ear? I A neti know. pot? No, that's your nose. Your sinus, brother. This is your sinuses right here. I guess so. Yeah. Like you ever eat something and you like accidentally like, and then it's just like stuck back there. Yeah, we just talked about this. Yeah, we did. Anyway, Jesus. Uh, we do have some more sponsors for today. The first one being, hello, how you doing? Simply Safe. Simply Safe is going to keep your home safe in a simple fashion. Hence the name, Simply Safe. Uh, but with fast protect monitoring and live guard protection, Simply Safe agents can act within five seconds of receiving your alarm and can even see and speak to intruders to stop them in their tracks. So if someone's trying to break into your house or if there's a fire or anything like that, the proper authorities will be called and they will be on the scene. So it's protecting your house and there's cameras and there's other monitoring things. I know Frank has it actually over the weekend. He was like, yeah, my his fucking nine-year-old stepson is setting up his grandmother's simply safe. That's how easy it is to set this up, okay? Uh, but it's gonna keep you safe in a simple fashion. Like what I did there, I did it earlier. That was the second time I did it. Simply Safe has been named best home security systems by US News and World Report for five years running. All right, real deal. Uh, you might as well invest into keeping your things safe. You don't want anyone to break in, do all this stuff, whatever, blah. blah. You can sleep well at night knowing that you have some monitoring going on 24 seven around the clock. Uh, so protect your home this summer with 20% off any new Simply Safe system when you sign up for Fast Protect Monitoring. Just visit simplysafe.com slash basement. That is simply safe, spelled S I M P L I S A F E dot com slash basement. There's no safe like simply safe. All right. So protect your stuff, folks. And lastly, here, we do have prize picks. Okay. March is, uh, listen, prize picks. 
It's a lovely app. It's a lovely game. Uh, you can play some like uh, some fantasy here, okay? It's the number one American fantasy sports app with more than 3 million members, okay? My friends love prize picks, and I love it. Somehow they're better than me uh, at this, and that makes me upset, but it's okay. Uh, but basically how you play is like you set up these uh, entries, okay? So you say, LeBron. Is he going to have more or less than 23 and a half points? And then you do a different player. Okay, Anthony Davis. Is he going to have more or less than eight and a half rebounds? Uh, stuff like that. And you do that for a couple of players from like two to six, I believe you can uh, do. And uh, you can win up to like 25 times your money or 100 times. I mean, you could win a, a bunch of money doing this. My friends love doing it. And also you can set this thing up too where it's like, even if you get one wrong, you still win something. Like, you could set it up like that. Like, it's very fun. You guys got to go play it. And, uh, you know, with baseball's here, uh, college football is coming back. The NFL is right around the corner. Got a lot of stuff going on, a lot of ways to play this, and they have every sport on there. So go check it out. Download the app today and use the code BASEMENT for a first deposit match up to $100, okay? Uh, so what that means is, like, your first deposit that you put in, if you put in 100 which is the max, they will put in 100 as well. So you have $200 to play with. Anything you put below that, they will match, and you can play with that, okay? So download the app today and use the code BASEMENT for a first deposit match up to $100, okay? Go enjoy. Go play it. It's a lot of fun. Um, but, yeah, I guess, you know, before we get out of here, dude, look at me. I'm sweating. Yeah, it's a little toasty posts in here. It's not a normal amount of degrees in here. Daddy's hurting. Gloria from Astoria is beautiful as always. She is, look at her. Red hair. Fire crotch. What? <laughs> Remember we used to say that about redheaded kids? Like, you got a fire crotch? And it was like, the fuck? I love that, like, it was like a joke. It was like, do the carpets and match the drapes? Like, why do you want to know what someone's pubes are so also, bad? I think of drapes. I think of tits for some reason. I don't think of No, vaginas. hair, man. Hair. I know, but drapes, that's multiple. Yeah, hair falls to the side. That's what, like, that's the whole idea with hairs. You really didn't know. You that really didn't. That does make sense. It's kind of amazing that like the, the most on the floor. basic understand, like the most basic euphemisms need to be explained to you and you don't get them. Get on all fours, uh, uh, the carpets match and the drapes. I still stand by the get on all fours. Like your stupidity is off the roof at this point in time. It is consistently insane. I'm not taking that bait. I know you're fucking doing that. <laughs> it's off the roof. Uh, duh, 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 duh. That's you, bitch. Um. Anyway, the Gwyneth Paltrow thing. Yeah. You were telling me before the show started. Someone, someone did a fucking big old oopsie poops in there in her house. Someone took a big. If nasty. you could crap in one celebrity's house, it's it's Gwyneth Paltrow, right? Mm, I would like to go to the White House and take a fat shit. <gasps> Wouldn't that be cool? No one thinks about that. People crap in the White House. <laughs> it's a house. Crazy though, right? Do you know the other day I was in the bathroom, and I flushed the toilet. And I stood there for a second, and I was like, this is insane. <laughs> that, that, that everyone's doing this. That and we just, figured out how to, like, get it, deal with it. Yeah. Like, think of how big of a problem that is. And we solved that. Like, think, before there was plumbing, there was just shit. Yeah, dude. Well, and they we had did out, it. What they, they had out, that's why they had outhouses. They would go and dig a hole in the ground and fucking crap in that. I've done that. It's not good. You've crapped in, the, in a hole in the ground? Yeah. Where? It, on like hikes. On like. Oh, I've, I, I mean, I, I, but like I'm saying like an out. Oh, yeah, when we were in Denver. <laughs> I didn't crap in it, but there was a bathroom that's at the I'm start saying. of the trail and it was just a hole, dude. Yeah. That's what, that's, that's literally like on hiking trails. It's like that. Like there's just like it's like a it's like it looks like although a crap seat, it's a though hole. that's good for the earth right I think that's why they do it we could do that yeah you could crap and pee on the earth I mean the fucking animals do I think it. pee is dangerful it's not I mean to like grass maybe yeah. yeah but like it's a good like crap though people will probably you think anyone has fertilized like their own a stuff? vegetable garden oh in the movie The Martian the guy grows potatoes with his own shit. Really? I yeah. didn't see that movie. Yeah, you don't remember that? No. It's a good movie. You should watch it. I should. Uh, or ask Lynch about it. He's literally seen it 100 times. At least 100 times. He watched it twice when we were in Medford. <laughs> yeah. His rule is that if it's on TV, he stops everything he's doing to watch it. He's got a lot of rules. He does have a lot of rules. Um, but, but like, anyway. 
Yeah. Do you think fertilize I, your little garden outside with your own shit? I'm not collecting my feces to fucking fertilize my garden, dude. <laughs> I don't get how that helps plants. Because like, oh, of it's like, not working. Take a shit on it, and it'll fucking. It's nice now. Nutrients, dude. Yeah, but what? I don't know. You're asking the wrong person. You said something though. You said nutrients. Yeah, like, that meant anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nutrients. Okay. I don't know, but yeah. So someone went to Gwyneth Paltrow's house on Long Island and had like a a diarrhea explosion, dude. A diadoodle cha cha boom. <laughs> You know? Okay. Like AJ and Big Justice. Why do I... Boom, 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 boom. Oh, oh, no, no, no one gets the reference <laughs> once again. <laughs> Everyone watches. No, they don't. Gets the reference. You don't watch it. You know those fucks. What is that? The Costco guys. Oh. This is a chicken bake. I'm going to give it a boom. And his dad's like, ah, 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 ah. And there's fucking pain behind that man's eyes. Let me tell you, he might look like he's having the time of his life. Watch those videos. <laughs> there's doom, there's doom and boom. Oh, I thought you were naming like wrestlers or something over well, there. Ironically enough, I think the dad was like a like amateur pro wrestler, like indie pro wrestler. Oh my god. They're like, still in Costco's just setting it up. Dude, they they go to like restaurants now and give them the rub now. They'll be like, "We're here at, you know, this uh, you know, fucking deli where they have the best chicken parm." And he's like, "Uh, uh, 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 uh." And he's like, "Boom!" The kids have the time of his life. I I hope the dad is too cuz he looks I can't I don't know if he's like Really enjoying himself or he's putting on a front, you know? He's got dead eyes and that's <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like when people smile and you're like, "Okay, you're smiling, but you're also and he's like, not. Yeah, you know, like the top half of your head is not moving. Yeah. Like your eyes have to smile, not just they made your a, mouth. They made a song. Did you hear the song? They made a song? About what, Costco? Dude, I can't believe you didn't hear this. By the way, we're not talking about Gwyneth Paltrow. We're, I, talk, we're talking about this now. The Costco guys? I haven't been down that rabbit hole yet, but as soon as we're done with this, I'm going right to the doom or boom. Oh, dude, they made a song. All right, I don't want to get copyrighted here. Imagine they sue us. This is just insane. Like, I, I just, I just, I just. I, the kid is having the time of his are life. Are they crushing? I don't know. That's a good question. I should see. I like, feel like they're crushing. Like, we, like people know them. The doomer, boom. Uh, 1.3 million followers. There you go. 33.8 million likes. That's big. Their That's biggest, huge. Their biggest that I could see here is... The original like chicken bake one and it was forty seven point four million. That is massive. Thirty three point eight million likes. That's crazy. Good for that, on, man. That's on TikTok. Shout out to nope, no more music. Sorry, Definitely I not. Mean, I didn't mean to. I was I was just gonna go. Oh check. now you're just gonna scroll I was gonna TikTok? go check something else. Oh, let's gonna, all not talk. Let's no, no, no. I was gonna TikTok. check something else. Yeah. I was gonna check something else. The basement right. yard, 195 million likes. Just wanna throw that out there. No one's asking us to do any Costco food tasting. God damn it. Another thing that's free. You could go to Costco and just try stuff. Or is no, that BJ's? That's, that's BJ's. Costco, you got to go in. like they, No, they Costco, check, they, they... They check your ID at the door, dude. Oh, yeah, I know. You but gotta, I'm saying you, you definitely... They do samplings there. Yes, yes. But like they check your ID at the door. So it's not free. You need to have a subscription or oh, partner. I mean, if you have a mother who likes to save money, then, you, then it is free. Yeah, but... Yeah, the kid, I hope, I wish him nothing but the best. The dad I'm worried about, though, is he really having fun? I mean, he's, he's you know, he's got that clout. He's chilling. He is. And also, he'll beat the fucking tarnation out of me. This guy is big, He looks like a, like a muscular. He was just doing, like, fucking, like, incline chest press with, like, five plates on each side. That's a little bit. That's a couple bits. <laughs> Good Lord. This guy can go and eat a fucking double chunk chocolate cake cookie. <laughs> <laughs> and then fucking turn my face into a pizza. Wait, what? what is a chicken bacon ranch thing? What is it's that? It's a chicken bake. It's basically a big Hot Pocket. Fire. <laughs> Yo, why aren't Hot Pockets bigger? I think Like a big, long Hot Pocket. I think they're dangerous, dude. <laughs> what? Dude, the internal temperature of a Hot Pocket when you cook it is Very the hot. sun. Just like, yeah, but like, don't make it a pocket then. Like, keep it. A, now we're just talking about. Now pizza. you're talking about open face fucking sandwiches or pizzas. 
It's a great. It's getting around that time of the year where I need to remind my body that I can't have hot pockets. You're big on the hot pockets. Once a year, I forget that they they turn my stomach into mm-hmm. the fucking border between North and South Korea. <laughs> And I need to have them in order to remind my body that it happens. <laughs> the DMZ. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happens in my stomach when I have a fucking pepperoni pizza hot pocket. Damn. Dude. Might do it. Uh, hot p- pockets. Pizza rolls. <gasps> Totinos. 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 All right. We're calling you out, Totinos. 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 So I'm on board here. To- because I like those because it's, uh, it's a mystery. Sometimes you bite into it and it's like, this is the hottest thing I've ever had. And the next one, you're like, this it's, one's got a block of ice in it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just, and then the next one's still frozen. Yeah. It's like, this. why is this one is steaming hot and the other one has snow in it? You know what I will say? I have not had a pizza roll since I've gotten an air fryer. So... What an idiot you are. What might need to break out the Totinos here? When I was just in Connecticut, uh, they had a tray of them. <sighs> you know what? Bro, first of all, I was doing damage to this shit. And I don't even know whose food it was because I didn't bring food. <laughs> I showed up for the day. You showed up to the potluck. Yeah, with nothing. Just a pot. No luck. Uh, no, you know what he showed up with? A fucking empty tummy. Yeah, empty tummy. And I was going to fill it with a bunch of pizza rolls. Yep. Pizza. And then right next to it, tons of crab rangoons. And a giant dipping sauce. By the way, my first time having that. First time having it. What, crab rangoon? First time. Oh! First time. There Maybe a 40. <laughs> Dude, one of my favorite like college memories, there was a buddy of mine, him and I would play Mortal Kombat and order 10, like no, Th- four orders of crab rangoon and just sit there and eat them until fucking four in the morning. Dude, college sounds like it went really well for you. That sounds so fun. Don't try to <laughs> fuck around. Don't try to fuck around. One of my favorite memories is eating crab rangoon and playing video games. With my boys, dude. With my fucking fellas. Fuck just you. being fellas. Fuck you. You're jealous. I do like crab rangoon. And not Mortal Kombat. You, we'll get you into that. What's though. in there? Crab. It's like crab and sour, not sour cream, cream cheese. Nice. I don't know what the else. Dipping sauce. I, I'll be honest with you. I don't want to know what's yeah, in crab. Yeah, I don't rangoon. care. Whatever it is, it's a tasty. It is a tasty. It is a bitch. tasty. I might get crab rangoon. I'm gonna go yeah, home. I might get it. Too. I'm gonna go home. <laughs> I might get that shit and get too. crab rangoons and and fucking hot pockets and then sleep on my bathroom floor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, oh god. I don't even know. I haven't even seen crab rangoon on a menu ever. Oh, I any any place I've gotten Chinese food from, they have crab rangoon. It's just a is matter it Chinese? of Chinese. It's just a matter I don't know if it is, but like it's just a matter of if you're daring enough to get it. You know what I'm saying? Daring. I'm going to get five orders. <laughs> well, you don't know what they are. I don't give a shit. Have you seen It's like an internet like it's like become a meme at this point in time, crab rangoons. Like yeah. I saw one the other day, it was like, "Hell yeah, I'm I'm happy," and it was like H A P P Y. Each letter was a different thing, and just at the H, it said, "Hungry as hell for crab rangoon," <laughs> <laughs> and the rest of the word was just not filled in. I like that. Yeah, but I was crushing fucking pizza rolls and crab rangoons. I'm yeah. about that. Quick, before we get out of here, yeah, give me your top three celebrities' houses you would absolutely crap in. Gwyneth yes. Paltrow, we can't use her because we know there's something about her house that sounds crappable. Okay. I don't know if it's because she's shoving fucking crystal eggs up her. We know. Yeah. Uh, okay, number one. Do they have to be, can they be dead? Alive. or uh, Give me three alive, three dead to, before we get out of here. Three alive, three, three dead. Three alive celebrities, there's houses you would crap in. All right. Chris Martin of Coldplay. Was married to Gwyneth Paltrow at one point. They, oh wow! Didn't even think about that. They have a crappable aura. Yeah, there's something about something them. about them that screams just Shit unload Ozempic ass into your yeah. fucking toilet. Ozempic. Oh, that's this guy had. It was like an Ozempic diarrhea bout. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know that it did that to you. So Chris Martin of Coldplay. Okay. Uh, Gwyneth I'm, Paltrow adjacent. Just want to throw that out there. I'll go Jake Gyllenhaal. Take a fat shit in his place. Okay. It doesn't seem very crap. Okay, go ahead. No, I think that it would be like a joke. Like, it would be like, you know. Oh, you guys oh, are, and you, also, uh, you, you know dap what? each other up. Like, yo, that was quite the shit. Yeah, and then like Chris Hemsworth. I think that he would be like funny about so it. So, two Chris's. And Oi, take a fat shit. I can't do that. That's not <laughs> Australian. Oi. 
I take a shite. I, I can't. I can't do um, it. He's not British either. But. Yeah. So Chris Hemsworth, Chris Martin, and Jake Gyllenhaal in no particular order. Yeah. Give me your dead celebrities whose houses you want to crap. Abe in. Lincoln off the top, that, off the duh. rip. I'm yeah. fucking setting it off in Honest Abe's bathroom. And you're not telling him. You're lying about it too. Yeah, I'm gonna let him find out, and he's gonna honestly pass out. Well, he won't. <laughs> something else will get him sooner after that. So, Wilkes Booth. Uh, Johnny Johnny Wilkes. Yeah. Um, hmm. Who else? Give me Sean Connery's house, even mm. though I think I would get into a lot of trouble. Yeah, he'd if he yeah he'd hit you. <laughs> That's quite a shite. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you could go crap in James Bond's toilet and not expect a backhand. Wild. Go ahead. And then um, my my grandfather, the one you never met. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Just to see, just to see how he responds to, see, to it. He you know? a litmus test. It's a super Irish Catholic guy. I don't know. All right, three alive celebrities whose houses I'd crap in. Go. Morgan Wallen. Okay. He just looks like, like go crap in his house. Okay. <laughs> Brett Michaels. I'm sensing a theme. <laughs> I'm sensing some sort of theme. Quest love. They just the they, theme is no longer. The, they just like those are three houses I think would be a sick crap. Right. Dead off the bat. Gotta go Elizabeth Taylor. Okay. She's so prim and proper and like Yeah, but you would ruin her bathroom. Duh. Oh, that's what you wanted to do. You know? Elizabeth Taylor. Yeah. Let's go Gilbert Gottfried just to hear his reaction. Yeah, that would you be know. interesting. What? going on <laughs> It smells like shit <laughs> A problem with your plumbing <laughs> <laughs> That's funny Gilmer oh, Godfrey oh, <laughs> What the hell Who did that Oh man! <laughs> Shout out oh, Gilbert Gottfried. Rest in peace, man. God Almighty, that's so fucking funny. <laughs> yeah, you have one more too. I do, I do. Oh, uh, third one. I'd have to go like, man. Maya Angelou. <laughs> Just like she, Why? Would, she'd write such a great poem about it. You know, she what? wouldn't. <laughs> She wouldn't write poetry about a shit you take right. in her house. It'd be like, well, you know, like, I, I, do I? Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Everyone. Hit. Do I? <laughs> I'm strapped in and ready to hear this poem about taking a shit. The waves part. <laughs> the waves part? The waves part. Down brown. I can't. I'm oh not, my god! I, I can't believe that you said down brown. Um, that's where we're gonna end it. I think. <laughs> I think that's all I can take. I'm also sweating from the insides of my elbows. What has happened? <laughs> what has happened here? That might be my favorite bit of the fucking year so far. That was funny. Oh god, Gilbert Gottfried, man. I'm a sweaty pig. Yeah. Frank, where can they find you? Uh, F. Alvarez885 on Twitter. The Frank Hours on all the forms of social media. Go check out patreon.com slash the basement yard and check out the basement yard on all forms of social media. Just just throwing this out there. More likes than uh, AJ Big Justice. So maybe we can link up, do a, do a, do a video together. I would Ooh. like to give something a boom or doom. Just want to say that. Okay. So. You know, uh, you guys can go follow me at Joe Sanigato and go follow each other on uh, TikTok and Instagram at the basement yard. And that is all. See you guys next time. I'm drenched. Me too.